Giovanni DeFederici. I am the uh, campus director for the Iron Yard Academy in Columbia. So I'm here just to talk a little bit. I don't have any slides. I'm just going to, since I've only got six minutes, I'm going to run through what is the Iron Yard Academy, uh, what are we trying to do, and all, all that good stuff. So the Iron Yard Academy is, in Columbia, is one school of a host of schools around the southeast designed to teach focused and intensive courses about tech for people who want to get into the industry. So uh, we have courses on design and iOS, uh, Python, Ruby on Rails, that sort of thing. So the courses are 12 weeks, and they are super, super intensive, and we focus a lot on the soft skills involved in getting people interviews and getting them jobs after they've been through the program, because our placement rate is almost exactly 100%, which is awesome. Um, and. Uh, the, the skills that we teach are the ones that are, that are needed in the industry. So I want to talk a little bit about kind of how that got started. So the Iron Yard started in Greenville. And the Iron Yard is actually an accelerator slash co-work setup uh, started by Peter Barth and Eric Dodds. They uh, sort of got this thing going uh, years ago. And in the process of working with all of these small startups, they noticed that a lot of the people who were running these companies didn't have the technical skills to achieve what they were looking for, and the expense of outsourcing to contractors was prohibitive for most of them, because they just didn't have the budget for it. Um, none of them had gotten through rounds of funding yet, so they didn't have these skills. So because of that, they noticed that there was this sort of dearth of talent necessary to get startups off the ground and get them running. So they started the Iron Yard Academy in Greenville just to teach the basic skills necessary to kind of get these things going. So it started off with seven students, it's wildly successful, they grew from there and now it's in I think seven locations around the southeast and it's still growing. They're hoping to graduate about 900 students in 2015, which is pretty amazing over just a couple of years to go from seven to 900. Um, so kind of looking at what problems are we addressing with the Iron Yard because the industry has, as a whole is healthy but there is a dearth of talent within it. Lots of people, lots of companies are trying to hire and they can't hire skilled labor because mm -hmm. the people who have the skill set necessary to do the kind of work they're doing are all contractors because they can make considerably more money doing that. So our focus is on taking people who either have minimum skills or no skills at all and getting them to the point where they are essentially junior level designers or developers over the course of 12 weeks. We get them in touch with people, companies that are hiring. We get them in touch with people that can help them move forward in the industry. We work really hard to make sure that within three months they're placed somewhere. And then uh, we kind of let them go into the world. So the Iron Yard is, is committed to solving the problem of getting these people from wherever they are, just working some dead-end job, to a career in tech. And we're also focused on finding qualified people, intelligent people, to become students and move them into the workforce to fill positions that are open within community. So the Iron Yard also focuses on the community that it goes into. So there are schools in various cities throughout the southeast. So we have programs for kids. So we try to, to encourage young people to get into IT and tech and design by doing code classes for kids, uh, just any kind of involvement with the community that's possible. We are a little different from other code schools in that we hire full-time staff and instructors. So none of the people that work and teach are part-timers. They don't have a day job and they do this in the afternoon. They're full-time. Their entire focus is on teaching the courses. We have TAs to help them and assist, and then we have staff on every campus to make sure that everything runs smoothly. So that's pretty much it. Um, we teach core competencies, like I said, um, which in that in that regard, I'm kind of rushing because I only have like one minute. <laughs> so in that regard, our idea, our idea is we teach production-ready skills. So a, like a forced four-year school teaches liberal arts degree plus some technical skill. We eliminate all of that other stuff. So the only thing that we focus on, because we have 12 weeks to teach people how to become junior-level designers and developers, we teach those core competencies and production-ready skills. So if you use the design course, we're teaching UX, design, the fundamentals of design, how to use the software, HTML, CSS. And we teach just enough to get them through the door, and we teach only those skills that mean that they can plug themselves into a team, into a workforce, and actually have value. Because a lot of these kids that come out of the alternative programs, while they're very smart, 
and they know a lot, they don't actually know how to work on a team or in a production environment. So every instructor we have has years of experience so that they can take that knowledge of what is actually needed to work well in this industry and they can give it to the student. So since I'm basically out of time now, I'm going to open the floor for questions.